backstage at Creamfields and it's always a pleasure, a big friend of Creamfields Festival and of course Calm, so why don't I you, Steph? Dude, how are you? I'm particularly well, feeling good, uh, refreshed and just had a really, really good set, so feeling happy. How does it feel when you come off stage? I mean, and well, actually, let's start at the beginning. How does it feel when you walk on out there and there's all those people? That's all I want to see. You know, I just want to see a full tent uh, and a good sound system and being ready ready to go. There's not the worst when you go to a festival and it's kind of like half full. You're like, oh, today it was ramp packed and got busier and busier and busier when I was playing. The sound system was great, w which has been a talking point of Creamfields in the past couple of years. Not today. It was um, it was everything that I wanted it to be. Yeah, because it was it's quite nice. This time last year we were obviously doing a similar interview. Yeah. You could have brought the blimmin' weather with you this year. You know what? I made, <laughs> I made the mistake of saying to my girlfriend earlier on, you know what, we've been to Creamfields in Liverpool for nine years and one year up the road uh, and it's never rained. It's your fault. As soon as I said that, I was like, oh. anyway. But it is, it's a ten year anniversary. Yeah. What's been your kind of most memorable moment of Creamfields? <laughs> <laughs> you know, a couple of years ago, I would have rattled off all these stupid situations I've been in. But I'm more of a mature adult these days, as you can obviously tell. Obviously, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, much more mature and sensible. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know what? I think um, it was my first or second year playing here when I, I played the subliminal tent, I think, which was mm. great fun. But then I went on to play uh, live on Radio 1 on the stage. Um, and I was kind of a new a new kid. And um, Seth Fontaine and everybody introduced me. And I just got on there. I didn't know what I was going to do, and I kind of didn't know what I was going to do really either, but I absolutely nailed it. There yeah. was like uh, 10,000 people in front of me, and I was like, um, this time last year, I was working in an office. <laughs> and so that, that was my moment. That yeah. was your moment when yeah, you kind yeah. of, I mean, how does it feel when you kind of realise, you know, you're on your way to be a bit of a superstar DJ. I mean, you're hitting your dream. I mean, how does that feel? Um, I, I think, you know, your ambition is more important than, you know, when, when you actually get there, you, you never actually arrive at where you want to be because mm. you, you, you just want to do bigger and better and brighter things. So I think because I'm so, um, like I say, ambitious, that I don't even think I've arrived. I just want to yeah. keep on going. Because obviously it's a bit of a meeting point, really, Creamfields every year. It's yeah. like the best of the best. Everyone's here. Yeah. I mean, do you ever, even now, do you ever kind of go, oh, I've got to see their set, they're wicked. Yeah, yeah. Who inspires you still? I'm looking forward to seeing Luciano. Yeah. He plays for me at my club and, you know, I just want to see the difference between playing a small day or two room and a huge festival situation. Mm. Fortunately, he's only playing for an hour or so, which is... You not... should have words. Yeah, come Have on. words. But, you know, I'm looking for, you know, an hour. And Luciano, for me, has been probably the most inspirational DJ for the past 12 months, so I'm excited to see him. Yeah, is there anyone that you kind of, because obviously, you know, you've got your finger on the, bu on the pulse, on the button, as they say. Yeah. Who should we be kind of looking out for over the festival and over sort of 2008, 2009, really, the music scene? Well, I, I think... Um, the music scene, obviously, the, this uh, techno situation is just getting bigger nah, and bigger and bigger. And, but you know what? It's getting better as well because there's more music coming into it. Uh, eat again, you know, it's it's a standard answer, but yeah, a lot of the Germans are really, really doing well. I'm a bit surprised that a few of them aren't here this year. Yeah, you know, everyone's I'm, so busy. There's so many festivals, isn't there? Yeah, yeah. But people like like Seb Okay, Anya Schneider, um, uh, who else? Uh, Gregor Trezor, everybody, all of them are really coming through, Love, loving the music. Mm. But you know, the music's so broad at the moment and it's so interesting. Yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing Adam, uh, seeing Adam Bayer as well later on. Yeah. The, the guy that plays for us and um, I love what he does. I mean, it is changing, obviously, it's such a standing point say, talking about how much music's changed and how it's yeah. changed for DJs because obviously the 10 year anniversary. Yeah. I mean, how's it changed for you? I mean, the technology, the style, I mean, a lot of people are doing proper live sets with their music now. Yeah, well. With like, you know, drums and all sorts. Yeah, well, I mean, I just, just then I was playing, I used a, a live saxophone player. Really? I mean, it wasn't planned up until two days ago, I bumped into somebody's like, shall I bring my sax? I'm like, yeah, bring your sax. So I hooked up to the effects used them and he stood to the right and we just we just jammed and it was great mm. a, bit, a bit more interesting than, than normal but the music these days is so much more underground the potential to be able to go uh, all the way where you actually want to be rather than playing the hits playing the hits playing the hits mm. it's it, I, I can't remember it being like this yeah it's so yeah. vast i mean where do you where do you want to head i mean as you say it's so vast but is there somewhere that you know over the next year you're going to hit things that you're going to try uh, I, I just want to continue to spread more internationally and just mm. just being well, like like circus liverpool people know me and just want me to do my thing i just want that worldwide and that's all well i wish you the best of luck thanks very you. much always a pleasure to speak to you, you too. now you go too. and have a nice lie down in a dark room and i do believe they're giving away free massages next door <laughs> that was you Seth. he's now gone <laughs> say goodbye properly thank you goodbye <laughs>